Okay guys, so I'm back with the second part of the video. So I have talked to my childhood friend after a very long time. I was talking to him almost for 15-20 minutes now. And if you are or if you are also missing some of your friends, childhood friends, just write down the name below. Maybe your friend may read that and reply back to you. So good luck for that and today we are going to learn query processing system. Let's see what it is, what are the steps in it and how it's done. So this is completely an internal topic, uh, internal concept that is that takes place while you are querying a request to a database. So again let's go back to paint and here we'll understand it completely man. So first thing, uh, let's consider that we are on a command prompt and here uh, you know what a command prompt is and here what you are doing is you are writing a query that is let it be select star from uh, from a table name any table name like I will here create one database okay so what this database would do is it is having a table uh, which contains whose data for better examples you just tell me whose data it should create uh, contain let's say student data that's the most boring one student because I can't think of any example better than this that can be said on YouTube like I have the dirty meaning double meaning things but I can't say this here because a large as my expectation a large amount of people would be watching this so without wasting time let's again get back to this so let's uh, let the data contain the student name rule number and class okay so we are saying select star from uh, student table the name of this table is student table okay so student table so now what we are doing is this is a query this is a query that is being sent to retrieve the data of the student from the student table okay what data student name student roll number and star means everything everything to be retrieved okay so now what happens is this is not going to directly go and communicate with the database there is a thing in middle and that thing is so this is this this is not going to communicate directly that is the database engine it is a part of dbms itself but not the database this is database and these both things constitute of the database system dbms no, database management system and what this database engine does is let's quickly write it database engine so that you guys don't forget what we are on this is database engine and database engine does the following things firstly like uh, what we'll do is now let's forget uh, just remember this at the back of your mind uh, you don't have to really focus on this we need to focus on only this thing what this is doing basically what happens is when you make a query this is going to go to this database engine and what it's going to do is first it will have the access by giving the password and username to the database uh, you need the password and data uh, username and password to access the database here okay guys so what this would do is when the query comes to the database engine basically the four things are four steps are going to take place what are those four steps let's let's see query tokenization query parsing query optimization and query execution now let's see this it now let's see this step by step okay the first one was query tokenization what this tokenization actually means is you are giving it a query okay the query is what select star from student the student is the name of the table okay yes guys so what this query tokenization means is what does is this breaks this whole query into 
token small token small parts select star from student okay so the basic thing this was to make uh, to break it into parts to make the query easier to tell the database what i need what this needs okay guys so this was uh, the function of query to tokenization so now we know what this does it breaks the query into small parts that's uh, that are known as tokens and this token the output of query tokenization these tokens are then provided for the second step the second step is query parsing so what this query parsing now does now this query parsing now has the input to this is these tokens okay so when the token comes what is what it does is it uh, makes a query tree let's let's just zoom out it what it does is it makes a query tree like this is a query tree uh based on the based on the uh, your based on your tokens this makes a query tree okay guys so it checks for the errors if there is any error in this query string like if any token does it doesn't matches the place it should have been any syntactical mistakes any words missing so this will generate an error Uh, and this error will be given back to the command prompt that this was the error because of this it could not take place so we now know the function of uh, query parsing after this the output of this tree is giving is given to the query op uh, optimization what this thing does is now you have a tree that uh, very complicated the optimization function the optimization mechanism makes it into a simple tree uh, it optimizes the uh, the command to make the process faster the query process faster after this like i made it more complicated i think like it makes into a simple simple tree simple query tree and after this in the last step what happens is the last step there are interpreter interpreters what these interpreters do is these guys read the query tree and executes whatever there is in the query tree whatever commands there is in the query tree so what this does now is it will go to the database it will read in any format there are various ways to read through the database so it may read for the best possible way it has and it will take the data take the table in this case since we are our query was select star from database name so this will take the whole database and give it back to the command prompt in the same way it is here it will give it back to the command prompt so this is the way how it happens so now if we see query tokenization the query is broken into pieces the small pieces are known as tokens from that tokens the output of this query tokenization are small tokens that is given to the query parser and query parser builds builds up a query tree based on this and checks for errors after this the query tree is passed down to the query optimizer optimization this here makes optimizations in the query tree that was passed by the query parsing and that optimized query tree is given to the query executor uh, in which there are interpreters which interprets the query tree optimized query tree and executes the code to do any changes any modifications retrieval any kind of management of the database in our case it was for just for example it was the retrieval action so this was for today guys i hope you have learned something and if you are really getting something just tell me in comment and also how i can help you better how i can make these videos better you can tell me all those things i'm always open to 
better comments uh, like any advice you want to give me you can guys so meet you in the next lecture tomorrow we'll learn about the most important things in the jdbc concept we'll learn about some drivers how those works and maybe tomorrow next topics that are going to come so be tuned to this channel just subscribe and let's meet tomorrow without wasting any more time see you guys bye bye